GH for STEM Juniors Challenge. Eric Kachakpo is a junior scientist from Keve EP Basic School located in the Sabdan district within the Volta region of Ghana. Eric uses a turbine, container cover, a DC motor, a 9V battery, and a container that acts as a water tank in order to pump water. Now let's observe what Eric does. Water pumps are devices that can move large volumes of water from one place to another using mechanical force. So we are going to use the sodium ion to create the hole in the cover. Sodium ions can get really, really hot. So be careful not to hurt yourself. Now we'll check that the tip of the motor can enter the hole that we create. So I'll apply the glue on the container cover so that I can fix the motor to the container easily. So now we are going to fix the turbine on the motor. Create a hole at the bottom of the container. So now I'm going to fix the container to the motor. I'm going to create a hole to allow me to connect the holes. I'm going to connect the electrical cable to the motor. Connect the red color of the cable to the positive side of the motor. The black color of the electrical cable is going to connect to the negative side of the terminal of the motor. Now I'm going to use the second container which is going to use to seal the motor. I'm going to create a hole at the bottom of the container. Now I'm going to pass the electrical cables through the hole that I created. So now I'm going to glue the container on the cover. So now I'm going to glue around to prevent water entering the setup. Make sure your seal is airtight. If water gets into the setup, it can stop it from working. I'm going to connect the switch to the setup. The switch is going to control the setup. Now I'll connect the positive side first. Now I'll connect the positive side of the switch to the positive side of the setup. I'll connect the negative wire of the setup to the battery. So this is the battery. Then this is my battery terminal. So I'll connect the terminal to the battery. Now. I'll connect the negative side of the setup to the negative side of the battery. I'll connect the negative wire of the switch to the positive side of the battery. I'm going to use the solid tape to cover the naked wire. I'm finished with the setup. So I'll reconnect the hose to the container and I'll use the glue around it to prevent leakage. Now we are going to test the setup. We will dip the setup into the water and switch it on to pump the water. We we'll turn it off to stop pumping the water. of agriculture it can be used for irrigation purposes it can grow crops all year round and also in our various homes building more homes and water accumulates in your mouth home this kind of devices can be used in scooping out your water by siphoning your water out academic prosper very very epic business school science teacher and a chef from maker pumps are great for moving liquids around so they are found in homes and also in cars where the circulating water can cool down the engine. Pumps are also used as artificial heart replacements. They help move blood around the body. It's time for Genial's Practical STEM Quiz. How can we increase the force of the water being pumped? A. Use a wider straw. B. Use a narrower straw. 
or C, pump the water from the table surface to the floor. So now you know how to make a water pump. Try this at home, either by yourself or with your friends from school. Make a video or take pictures of your experiment. Ask your teacher or your parents to help you post the results of your experiment on social media. Tag we go innovate so that you can win some fabulous prizes. Don't forget to add your name and the name of your school to your entry and hashtag gh 4 stem You can check out any of our experiments at www.wegoinnovate.org and please leave a comment. You can also follow us on social media at wegoinnovate or WhatsApp us on 055-406-6248. Good luck with your experiment. You can be a junior scientist too. GH for STEM Juniors Challenge. At the heart of GH for STEM Juniors Challenge are these teachers who against all odds are creating powerful learning environments using everyday materials as teaching aids even in fairly complex scientific experiments. GH for STEM. 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 GH for STEM Juniors Challenge. It's a wrap, guys. That's all we have for the Juniors Challenge this week. Catch us at the same time next week as our junior scientists from the western region of Ghana battle it out with their magnificent practical STEM experiments and demonstrations. GH for STEM Juniors Challenge.